Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm hopping on so we can get right into the news. We took a little bit of a hiatus after the Super Bowl, but we're back and we had to talk about what's going on with John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies because this is big and it's been developing over the weekend. So we do have to talk about it a little bit. So there has been a few instances of issues, but the biggest one um, following this report about an altercation with a young man where John Morant supposedly pulled a gun out on him, there is now a clip on Instagram of him being on live with the gun or with a gun, which led to him being suspended for two games from the team and then later on being removed indefinitely for right now. There's a lot of investigation going on, and I understand the importance that he has to the league, and I'm not dismissing that, and I'm not trying to devalue that, but I will say... As an African-American male, and I think as any male or any human, we should care more about the person than what's going on. Because he was given an opportunity, or he earned an opportunity to live out possibly his dream or whatever he, let's just say the thing he decided to make his career. This is the opportunity he was given. And the one thing I'll agree, Shannon Sharp was talking about it a little bit, but you can't move the same way you used to. It's not up to me to decide if he's putting on the front, if this is really him, if he's really uh, about that life or he isn't. That's not my job to diagnose or decide. What I will say is, though, I challenge him, hopefully, or someone around him will give him the opportunity or encourage him to use wisdom because he's going to mess up the opportunities he's earned because of the way he's moving. And it's not specific to him. That's what I really wanted to address. It's not specific to him, not just because he's an athlete. Anyone who's acquired a new responsibility or is put in a new position has to move a little differently, whether they are now a parent, whether they're just a little bit older, whether they're a supervisor at their their job, or they're doing something in ministry, or they're a community leader. When you assume a new responsibility and a new role, you generally have to move a little different. It is not specific to him. We've seen many people get caught up in different things because they're trying to move how they used to or they're trying to move what they're used to based on their past. The difference is we don't have the same spotlight that he does. He is in a situation where all eyes are on him consistently. And because he now has made a mistake, we're going to criticize him as if this doesn't happen. It doesn't make it right. But what I'm saying is, We all have a duty to move a little differently as we mature, as we grow, as we're in different situations. And as much as they say he's the face of the league and how much he's he's one of the faces and how much his team was in contention and they had a shot to make a run to the championship, that's the least of what I care about. This man has earned the opportunity to not only change his life but his family. And for me, that's the most important thing. Whatever it is that he's doing, he needs to move a little differently. Because I don't want this man to lose his opportunity. I don't want this man to lose his career. I don't want him to end up in the situation he doesn't want to be in, whether that's jail or whether that's just not playing the game that he wanted to play. I care more about his well-being and him being able to thrive in whatever he decides to do. I don't want to have these conversations about what the, what is the league going to do. That's not my concern. I have more of a concern about the young man who has made this decision. And I can say young man because he's even younger than me, which is crazy to think. So I do wish him the best. I I, I guess I wish his teammates the best also because I, that's a rough spot to kind of know how to support him the best or to be the best teammate, best friend, things of that sort. How do you deal with this in the middle of the season also? You know, I I hope the best and pray for the best with his loved ones and the people around him that he will get the support that he needs to move forward how he wants to. But it's definitely an interesting story, and we'll continue to keep our eyes on it to see what is going to happen as this season goes forward, what decision will happen. 
Thank you for tuning in into this delay of game clip. We are going to continue to release content, and we just had to follow up and release some update about what was going on. So stay tuned for more clips and more episodes. Thanks, and have a great day.